One of the restoration techniques we've implemented a lot is a process called coral gardening. Similar to gardening at home where you might take a cutting of one plant and plant it in a different location, we collect corals either from the target location or from a different location and we propagate those in nurseries for six, nine, twelve months depending on the species and the morphology and then we outplant those back onto natural reef or artificial reef substrates. Another version of coral gardening is to take corals and propagate fragments on land-based nurseries. This takes a little bit more time, effort, a um, little bit more cost. So there's different ways that you can approach it, but generally the aim is similar. You're trying to protect corals in this nursery environment for a limited period of time raise them up to be strong, healthy, before transplanting them out to the target restoration site. Over time, more and more people are implementing sexually reared coral larvae using this coral gardening methods and techniques, but many of the methods that we are displaying here are showing you pretty much how to set up coral nurseries, how to get them healthy, strong, and then how to get them back onto the natural reef to become a healthy, reproducing member of that coral reef community.